one of those those like confusing retail spaces I'd never go into. Emergency John's cart. We uh, had to make an emergency trip out to say goodbye to this mall, which is uh, certainly a fixture of our childhoods. I don't think you can see it from here. We've done the Toys R Us that's closed. Yes, right next door. <laughs> I remember where things used to be. Remember, Frankie, remember when we went to this Ruby Tuesday? <laughs> I, I do. Remember. It ain't Ruby anymore. <laughs> the lights are on and there's still lights plates. Lights are on, but nobody's <laughs> home. <laughs> Old prices. The lights are on at the salad bar? Zach was mentioning the dead grass. Yeah, there's salad plates bar. and everything at the salad bar. Oh. Right next to the Windex. It's going to be a lot of where things used to be. Nina's brother Chris is with us today. I used to smoke cigarettes out here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Swansea Mall was the cool mall because it was next to Somerset and a Dunkin' Donuts oh, so you yeah. could get coffee. He made a joke that he's going to stay out there to smoke a joint. <laughs> uh, that was not a joke. Nina, something that we've noticed, sports shoes stores. Yeah, like the shoe department, Olympic, they seem to be surviving. Well, I guess people really want to try shoes on. Some last minute mani pedis. I considered using the nicer camera for this one. Yeah. But we were like, well, surely to attract mall security. And I thought, I don't know. Why would they have mall security? I don't know if there's going to be any at all. At least you got to see the Swansea Mall. Well, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the sign. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can really rely on this to be accurate <laughs> at this point. The Sears is gone. Two years. The Macy's <laughs> is currently closing. 40% off. The Walmart is not connected to the mall. This space has been empty since 1999. They disconnected the Walmart and it freaked Nina and I out. Wasn't there a Walmart yeah, right they here? They just closed they it. Tore it they down. removed it. They have so many restrictions. You can go to walmartrestrictions.com if you want to learn about it. They can't build grocery stores. They can't build amusement places. Can't build pharmacies because of Walmart's in the area and they put that in their contract. Who's that? Oh, the massive Sears down the end there. Long closed. Walden Books used to be right here. Yes. Walden Books was right there, and I believe FYE. Yeah, and probably, huge, some, probably something like it. Huge that. Sam Goody then FYE. Sam Goodies, yeah. Babbages? Babbages. Babbages. My guy was coming to the front door, and he had a Tupperware thing of hot dogs. I want in. What are you doing? It's all just places to bring your kids to like spend a couple hours. There's. Well, there's that. There's also military place. recruitment, nails, and uh, shoes. Is there like a dental office? Eight bucks to go in there? Just run it for free at this point. Excuse me, me and my niece would like to play some mini golf. <laughs> this place is unmanned. If you can find a ball and a stick, you no, can play some mini golf. So much for worrying about somebody hassling me about cameras. This is crazy. I can't believe how unmanned this is. Doing it here. Doing it live. I'm reviewing pizza. What does a dog say? What does a wolf say? Uh. What does a goat say? Uh. <laughs> What does a pirate say? Can you say R? R. Gloria, say R. Can you be a R. monkey? What sound does a chicken make? Exactly. <laughs> I really am expecting a pirate to jump out and be like, what are you doing way back here? Like on uh, <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple. Frankie, look at this, their sound system. I found it. Oh, nice. It's like a 1990s CD player. <laughs> it's like if you were in eighth grade and your mom put on like a pizza themed party. Okay. Yeah, pizza themed. <laughs> Big VR arcade place, also unmanned. This place looks like it was recently put in and it's gonna have to be soon relocated. I've never seen a fully digital pinball machine before. That's kind of interesting. All touch screen, Gloria. I don't, I don't want your reality to just be virtual. Get back here! Gloria, what does a giraffe say? Yeah. Gift certificates available, but completely useless because we're closing soon. Is it just me, or is this mall being overrun by arcades? It's the third the one. Pirate one specifically. One, two. I think they're branded together. I really wanted the VR experience. You want to go back into the Oasis? Remember, Nina, we went here for like a baby store that we were going to check out? Yeah, we were going to do a class about cloth diapering because that worked out. And then we bailed. Yeah. Then we bailed. Hello? I don't know. This seems fun to me. The start button that I guess people always miss. I guess it's really the next version of you must be this tall to ride. Like you really have to be able to touch that. Is this some kind of boxing simulation? Punch the thing? Okay. Uh, yep, that's how it goes. Yeah, obviously we used to have a Spencer gift right here. So. This was Spencer's. This was Spencer's. Yankee Candle, obviously, with the wood. The last, this was a CVS. There was a Newport Creamery right here. Yep. And this was all a big area with trees and seats. It was really fancy and now they've taken it all up. And it was a big deal. I remember there's a, a store over here, it's a Macy's. It used to be a Jordan Marsh and it was built as one of their premier stores and has some really cool retail architecture in terms of skylights and lighting. So we should check it out. Jordan Marsh was at like, it actually positioned itself as a little bit higher brand than Macy's does today. I can't picture my business here anymore. I can't really picture my business here, I'm sorry. What would you sell if you did have a business here? Good advice. Max, Max. <laughs> oh, like what, like Lucy from the Peanuts? I could totally envision 
in a little macaroni and cheese cart, you have like a hundred different varieties of good macaroni and cheeses. People would buy it yeah. too. How come there's never been like proper mac and cheese fast food? Yeah. Did you cook it here? No, no. I just sell dry products. Oh, like, uh, like, yeah, like yeah. toilet paper. <laughs> you know, there you go. More, I don't know, footwear. What do you do here, folks? I don't like those hangout places. How do they charge you? I think you're supposed to like buy some stuff while you're playing. It's one of those, those like confusing retail spaces I'd never go into. I have to like understand your business model. Like a jewelry store, I know what I'm going to get, right? Right. We Macy's could, and what I'm going to get. Right at the top of those stairs right there, right? Long gone. Used to be the world of Nintendo mall kiosk. And I would spend many hours standing in front of the Super Nintendo, playing it right there. We bought a lot of our SNES stuff there. I remember we bought Mario Paint there with the mounts. We actually bought uh, Link to the Past at the Apex down the end. I think we should go check out the Macy's. We could do live box max here? Yeah. With a convection oven, I guess? I remember there used to be like musical performances here. Uh, this is where you'd have your Easter Bunny, your Santa Claus. That's right, that's right. Skylight area up above. Yeah, it's actually very nice. So what do you think they're gonna do with it? Tear it down. It's beautiful. Hey, yeah. You guys can't take video pictures. I'm sorry. I'm not taking video. No. Oh, you know what I can tell people from now on when they're they're like, "Are you filming?" I usually say, "No, I'm playing Pokemon." <laughs> right? You totally could. Just fixtures for sale. For you. Fixtures for sale everywhere. So this is a really cool area, right? We've got this really awesome octagon scale wow. skylight. It used to be lit with many fancy lights. A lot of them are in disrepair now. Really cool octagonal design. Very much the Jordan Marsh image in the 80s and 90s. It looks pretty bustling and hustling to me. It's kind of unusual for a Macy's to close, isn't it? Stand mixers. The price? Off. No. Not really. We get a much better price than Black Friday. Really? There is a lot of people in here. It is definitely doing a good business. In the mall, too, there were a lot of people. Yeah, I think that news story brought everybody out. You hit a dead end. We're in the clearance corner right here. <laughs> last act. <laughs> last act. Small is not last, last act. Last. I could use a nice new down comforter. Nope. I'd be down. <sighs> it's very witty. No, not for me. I don't think I realize there's a big rug section here. Huge rug department. Oh, that you want. Mastercuts has been here for at least 30 years. I love these neon linings around these skylights. They look super cool. Up. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. I'm got <laughs> That's a lot of attention. These were a 90s mall statement, frankly. Watch your money, do cool things, yeah. and then lose it forever. Do you have a coin? Oh, that that's that one. Okay. I'll put in a penny. Whoa. It's kind of fun, right? I remember I used to do this a lot. What's this, the black hole simulator? Isn't that neat? Maybe that that's was good. That was more than a penny of entertainment in my opinion. That's a fun bus right there. You trying to get in, but you're too short to ride the fun bus? This, this here is, is what freaked Nina and I out. That used to connect to a Walmart. The doors used to go right to a Walmart, and before that, a cal door. You used to be able to go through and out small pine tree lined passages that would lead you to the parking lot. That's always the way we came into the mall. They tore it down and built a new one right next to it. Yeah, I don't know why. Because they wanted to make it a super Walmart, I guess, but they also, Walmart has wanted to stop connecting to malls. Mm. Uh, I don't know exactly why. Maybe they want to kind of have a dedicated lot. And this has always been a really weird space. This is all original. Uh, and it's got ramps that go in every direction. I remember always being excited to be at this part of the mall because I get to walk up and down the ramps. Yeah, the ramps were pretty cool. And there used to be an A&W there. It was there for years, which we very, very rarely go to. I remember there used to be a toy store where that Metro PCS was right there. And there also used to be a World of Science store right behind me. I think every year for a while they were doing a Halloween store right there. And down the end that was Apex, of course, which was a huge uh, chain around here. They closed two of their three locations and they have one very sad location in Pawtucket that we really got to do a card on before it disappears forever. Yeah, let's do it. It used to be uh, Clear Skylight, but then they've um, done something to it. Hey, did you know this has been a farmer's market recently? <laughs> not today. Not, but not this day. But it is not this day. Was there ever a movie theater at this mall? I think there was only the one across the street. No joke, smoke, BBQ, New England style BBQ. Yeah. I didn't even know there was New England style BBQ. And then otherwise, yeah, there was a Dunks here. That was a really coolie style Taco Bell at one point. There was a McDonald's right here. There you have it, that's the Swansea Mall. Say goodbye, because very soon you won't be able to see it again.